Here I pretty much have a blank calendar. Um, this is what a, a student would start off with as a calendar. Uh, and if students were to use their calendar as a um, planner, uh, you can really see there's going to be some benefits to it. Uh, so over here I have the uh, test uh, student. Uh, you can see I turned off birthdays, though I can just click the box on the left and, and turn it back on. Here I have tasks. Uh, the first time you do this, you may see it as reminders. Uh, I'm going to click right here and do tasks, and I'll show you those in just a little bit. These other calendars, um, each time a student joins a um, class in Google Classroom, they are automatically um, logged into the calendar as well. Uh, Google Classroom creates a calendar for any assignment that's been uh, issued, and students can see that on their Google Calendar. So I'm actually going to um, bring this piece over. Um, here is the class that the sample student is, is enrolled in and I'm going to create an assignment test and I'm going to give it a due date so we'll do March 1st assign it and I'll move this out of the way you can see that on the students calendar uh, on the students calendar uh, sample test uh, sh shows up it's right there um, this will happen for any assignment that you create and if a student was enrolled in six different classrooms there would be six different calendars that would show up here um, now I'm gonna go to the task button and this is really kind of a, a cool feature uh, the task is um, a, a drop-down checkoff list that comes up on the right hand side you do have to move it from reminders to tasks and over here uh, you could actually start uh, as work away into your classroom um, daily lesson if you have homework uh, tell students at the end of class get out your Chromebooks um, and add tonight's homework into your your um, taskbar so this might be read pages you know 15 or 25 through 37 and if I click the little uh, Chevron tag over here, I can actually add a due date to it. So we'll make sure that's March 1st as well. You can see that it shows up in the calendar. I can add any notes that I need to as well. So once we get over here, if I finish reading, I can just check it off and it actually crosses it off of my uh, task list. I can also add any sort of homework where I just, you know, um, create a time frame maybe a student needs to schedule their homework uh, in between practices Now I'm going to show one more um, trick that I, I learned at a, a, a GAFE summit or a G Suite uh, summit and what it was is the um, the teacher did um, an assignment every single day and it was just an agenda this is what you're doing in class uh, agenda for 3-1 and in that agenda they wrote uh, everything that was was going to go over or covered in that class so turn in and um, reading log next one was read and this you know I'm, I'm making this up so discuss uh, pages 25 through 37 um, group debate anything that you're doing in class you get the idea and then what they did is um, under the due date they they just added that to um, the date that they did it in class and um, you can add a topic that's just agenda and assign and they did that every single class uh, now what the student say, sees is when they go into that um, the turn in reading log read and discuss pages 25 through 37 group debate and then right here this will take them right back to the class um, so this was a great way to um, not only help you organize but really help the student organize they had no excuse if they were gone uh, to know what they were doing in class